Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. It should be a crazy night of elimination action here in on Thursday night of the NBA. A couple of elimination games on for you this evening and uh, I think I've found a little bit of value with both of these lines tonight. And after already looking at the Wizards and the Pacers game six in DC after the improbable win by the Wizards in Indiana on Tuesday night, the Thunder and the Clippers hook up in game number six from LA in the series and the Thunder come in as a four and a half point underdog after winning game number five at home. No total odds out just yet from the sports books. However, should be sitting right around the similar total of what we've seen so far this series between 212 to 213 points. Now, OKC edged out Los Angeles in the final seconds of game number five at home to take a three to two series lead. It looked like the Clippers were going to be facing, uh, uh, or were going to be up three to two heading back home in that game, but a late layup by Kevin Durant and then a huge steal by Russell Westbrook and three subsequent free throws were the difference in this game and the uh, Thunder were able to edge out Los Angeles by one point at home, but Westbrook has absolutely been outstanding, invaluable in this series, and a lot of people have looked at his production that's gone somewhat overlooked, but after last night, I am absolutely sure that you cannot do that anymore with him. But now that this is an elimination game, and after cashing the under pretty well here over uh, on Tuesday night, excuse me, of this series, I think we should probably go back with the under once again, if indeed the total is as high as we've seen it so far throughout this series. If we get another total that's around 213 points to 214 points, I think the under is going to once again be a very good play. Like I said, we cashed the under in game five, and now in elimination games so far in these playoffs, the under has cashed just over the over at eight and seven. And I think as, this, uh, as the postseason goes on and as we get into more and more elimination games, whether it's just one team facing elimination, whether it's both teams facing elimination, you're going to start to see the totals drop. And I think that's a trend that we can follow to the bank here, especially in this postseason. So like I said, with that total, when it comes out, if it indeed is above 212 and a half up to the 213 range, the under looks like it's going to once again be the play. The under is now cashed in three of the last four games this series. I'm looking to ride that trend to the bank once again. So add the under to your NBA play, uh, NBA picks when that uh, total comes out. Best of luck to you on that one. If there's still time, make sure you check out my play on the Wizards and Pacers game six as well. But until then, I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of the Sharp Pick. <laughs>